The overnight low was supposed to be 57 and I think I believe it. I'm not sure where Gray is except that she was on the front porch a while ago playing with the rug by the door. There you are, your tuxie's waiting for you. Yep, that's striped, so I jump up quick. Good girl. You got cobwebs on your head. It happens a lot this time of year. She's probably under the front porch. We've got Ruby out this morning instead of Jules because uh, I gotta leave right away for my um, stress test at the cardiologist appointment office, which is in Cary, thankfully. And Don yeah. just figured, well, we really don't probably even have enough time to switch cars. If I want Ruby, he'd just get Ruby out. Right. I hit go. Me too. We may not walk quite our normal walk, not the two times around the track. We'll see what time it is, both in not wearing me out before I have to go get stressed, because I'm already stressed, but you know what I mean, my heart's stressed. And um, time that I have to be up there. I basically need to leave our house at 9.30. So, yeah, but she's got to be wearing workout clothes. They told her to wear two piece outfit and athletic, athletic shoes. shoes. So I was like, well, I'll just stick in my walking clothes, which is what I did for the ride out on the water yesterday, too. Good morning, bunny. <laughs> Gotta love that little hop. It's cool out here today. It is. It's great. I thought about a long sleeve shirt for half a second. I wasn't. <laughs> Well, this lady, but I never cross my mind. Well, suffice it to say, it's in the 60s here this morning, and there is a nice crispness to the air, and it feels pretty great. So our time is good. My energy level is reasonable, and uh, we're gonna just do our regular walk. We're on our second lap here at the at the walking track here at South Park. It's too nice of a morning not to be out here fully oh, enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, this is too good. Sunny, that's that. breezy, yeah, cool. I'm out here getting ripped and buffed today. <laughs> this is one of those easy exercise days. <laughs> yeah. We've passed a few people on the Jeff Wells Trail this morning. A mom and her two kids, one on a bike and one on a scooter, just went past a couple of runners. An older lady walking her dog. It's a good morning to be out. Yeah, so I gotta go for that heart stress test this morning and then an eye doctor exam this afternoon because the floaters are still bothering me, but I'm trying not to be nervous. Don's trying to help me not yeah. be nervous. I'm still nervous. She's gonna be fine. They are doing nuclear IV stuff to look at the flow. Yeah, they're doing some I've kind of stuff. I've had this done before, not super recent, but in the last 10 years I've had it done, so. It's not like I've never had my heart imaged and they're gonna find some congenital abnormality that we didn't know about. I don't think that's, you know. Anyway, I'm trying not to spiral upset. Yeah, it's just hard. I'll be eat. better when this test is over with. I I think the test that's really the important one that I really, really need is the EMG nerve study and that's not till August the 23rd, which seems like an eternity. Yeah. Like I feel like I need it now, it's urgent to me but they pushed it out till August. So anyway, it's gonna be a day of doctor's appointments. I just wanna go home and chill and work on my Lego project for a bit, calm down. That was what, if I could choose what I was gonna do, I would do that for at least an hour. All right. So 45 minutes walking, uh, uh, two point something miles. Anyway, I'm gonna go switch to my app to running now so I could time the run. All right, Donnie. I'll see you back at the house. Yep, I'm just gonna get Jules and come, or get Ruby actually. Yeah. And come straight up there. I don't have time to do anything else this morning. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Here's Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. Forty-nine thirty-four. 2.3 miles and 115 beats per minute. Cause it drops pretty low once I sit down. So uh, even coming off of that hill. 65, 79 steps. So they better work me out a little bit on the treadmill up there. I won't meet my step goal for the day. I was so upset yesterday because I did not complete my standing goal. Well, I was in, you know, I missed an hour when we were in the water at Lake Wheeler. Cause that was, you know, 90 minutes and 
I took a nap last evening, so I missed some. And then while I was cooking dinner, I had my watch off to charge it. So I know I was up for 12 hours yesterday standing and doing stuff, but it didn't get counted. Tux is here to greet me. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hello. Good boy. Don's got both garage doors open because it's cooler outside than it is in there. He's just cooling it off a little bit. Not something we normally get to do in June. <laughs> I'm on time. It's 9.33. My appointment's at 10. They wanted me there 15 minutes early. This gives me enough time to park. It's just up by the post office. Close to the Taekwondo school. That part of town up Judd Parkway. I will be home before I go to my eye doctor's appointment. See Johnny for a little bit. But he's got um, leftover pasta and sausage from yesterday for lunch. All he's got to do is go grab it. He normally doesn't like to warm it up. Up to him. Cold or warm. His choice. But it's made. It's there. It's ready to go. Okay, Ruby. You be waiting here for me. I'll be back. Not looking forward to it. I don't mean the test. I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, the short story is there's a snake under my car. It's just a black snake. It's not a copperhead. As I walk toward the car, I thought I saw something. I thought on the other side of the car and I was like, let me walk around. So I walked around and I seen him. But then he went up underneath the car. I don't want to hurt him. I don't know where he went. I guess I should get in my car while the getting's good. I don't want to hurt him. I really don't. I don't want him to scare the bejesus out of me either. Well, I don't see him there. So apparently I didn't run him over. I don't know if he's up under the car somewhere. God forbid. Or he slithered away really fast. I just don't know. That was really freaky. Um, I get, I won't be pulling in the garage when I get home anyway. So hopefully if he's along for the ride, he'll just slither out from underneath in the yard. Like I said, it's not a venomous snake. But I would like to not be startled by him. By the way, it's 1 p.m. and I'm just out of the cardiologist's office. Well, they said three hours and that was accurate. Um, I had to get in motion to kind of get away from that snake back there. I'll tell you what's going on with the test here in a second. It'll just be a second for you guys. It'll be several minutes for me. Well, <laughs> yeah, um, I survived the testing. Obviously, I'm driving myself home. If they spot something seriously wrong, they don't let you leave, right? Um, so they did some imaging with this C cam, C an imaging machine so it's a little bit different than the way I've had my heart image before which was either the ultrasound or I don't know watching the tracer I had a MUGA test in 2011 and things were okay then and I've had the um, echo done uh, here in January and then in 2017 I had it done and there were no problems found then either but this is a different thing it just kind of moves around and takes a ton of pictures and all it's like an MRI for your heart but it's a specialized machine I guess that's how I'm describing it and anyway they do the imaging then they do the treadmill and then they do the imaging again and um so uh the treadmill I lasted for seven minutes and 37 seconds they want you to minimally be on there for seven minutes and um my heart rate got up to 187 uh, beats per minute um, and fell back down close to 100 pretty quick. But stayed in the 90s for a long time and I think that had something to do with my anxiety level being pretty high. So there were no um, EKG abnormalities that I'm aware of and I think that is longer on the machine than I lasted the last time I got put in the treadmill which I think was for basically no time at all. <laughs> So I thought I did pretty good. I probably could have gone longer, but it was really, um, you know, the muscles in my legs were kind of burning and my grip on the treadmill was 
extra strong and it was hurting my hands and um i don't know treadmill's hard if you've never been on a treadmill those people on tv that just do the treadmill and make it look like it's no big deal other than the fact that you know that your heart's not going to be as functional as theirs probably but anyway they make it look so easy and it's really hard like even the first setting is hard i had trouble getting my stride adjusted and anything so they did the second set of pictures and unfortunately i had shared with the lady house worried and scared and nervous and everything I was and unfortunately because of my implant she had to call me back to shoot a second set of pictures which spiked my stress level and probably stressed her out a little bit today and um so but she does think she got better pictures pictures the doctor will be somewhat happier with pictures she thinks show things are where they're supposed to be but I really won't know until the doctor doctor put something in wake med my chart and signs off on it but they let me leave they didn't find anything serious i seem to have held up to the stress test just fine and when i know more i'll will share more with you guys i'm glad that's over with i'm so glad it's over with i'm glad it's over with um don came out to greet me and we don't see the snake but i'm gonna leave ruby here until i go to my eye doctor's appointment it's approximately two hours until i leave Maybe an, at least an hour and a half. So hopefully if he's, you know, hitched a ride, he'll leave. Like I said, it wasn't a venomous snake. So he'll have him a good home in our yard if he comes out from under the car. Johnny still has tucks inside with him after we gave him his uh, antibiotic. Everything is still healing nicely. And the only person out back right now is Stripe, who came and ate, but is too hot to stay too close to me over here. This is the first time in like forever I don't know where Marty is. I don't think anything's wrong. I think Marty's just hot and off somewhere, but I'm just checking on my other kitties while I don't have to referee with Tux. I'm out on the front porch now to say hi to Gray and Slate. They came pretty much right away. They're uh, in that perennial that's along the side of the driveway. You know, that's where they're where it's cool for them during the day. It's too hot to sit at the end of the boardwalk right now. So I came up here on the front porch. I'm trying to retrain them to hang out with me a little bit over here. And they both came a-running. I am on time and on my way to my eye doctor's appointment. I am expecting them to dilate my eyes. Uh, I also know they like to take that picture of my eye once a year, which the insurance doesn't pay for, um, but it's not expensive. I think it's a $39 test for the images, so, um, you know, I'm just going to let them do what they want to do, go from there. There were some lawn company people there at the environmental park, but I don't believe they were town people. Like Don and I said, it seems like um, sometimes folks use that parking lot to stop in to shuffle equipment around or use the restrooms or take a break waiting to go to their next appointment time or whatever. I've not ever seen anybody doing anything bad over there and neither has Don in the whole time he's lived here. So and that park's been there a long time the bathroom building and everything I don't exactly remember when it opened it was before my time over on this side of town but I'm sure um, it's been it's been there a long time I did have a chance to eat a little something I think I mentioned that I'm more back to a 18-6 yeah, um, two meal a day intermittent fasting schedule whereas Don is still trying to stick to a one meal a day if he can two hour eating window that really has more to do with me and how fast i can feed him everything he plans to eat versus um you know versus anything else how fast it can eat or needs to eat or is comfortable eating this the shorter that window the thought on omad is the better um but i'm able to lose weight and i feel a little better when i'm doing um, a small meal in the afternoon which is usually some leftovers from dinner and I've added in a little green vegetable now uh, I don't know that that's doing anything for me but um, it's not I don't think it's also I don't think it's hurting at any point I had me a little snack and I got 
cleaned up and uh, cause you know I had run on the treadmill, well walked super fast on the treadmill and walked this morning with Dawn. And I did a couple of things at my computer. Um, I just wanted to mention that I am semi sort of disgusted with YouTube right now. I keep on um, sending my video to Wee Video sometime between 2 and 4 in the morning, hopefully at midnight. Because um, when I'm sending it at 2 or 4, that means I'm not really going to bed when I'm supposed to and sleeping um, like I should. So my goal is to have the video ready to go uh, by midnight. So I go to bed with Dawn, life's good, right? But sometimes it ends up being 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then on a really bad night, if I fall asleep when I shouldn't, it's, you know, 4 or 5 a.m. But anyway, I send it the Wii video. Let's just say it takes them two hours to render it. Now, I like Wii video. I really do. There's lots of pluses about it, including that I don't need to do any of that processing on my computer. All that processing takes place on the Amazon, um, what is it, SWS servers. Um, this was confirmed by the folks at Wii Video. So um, that is a real benefit there that grinding out that large 4K file is something that they're doing. My computer is not being um, bothered with that. And the editing up in the Chrome browser doesn't take a lot of computer resources. So. Technically, my machine can be doing other stuff then also. Once I get the files to drive, that's really the time snatch for me there on that part of the process. Uh, once the files are up and drive, I'm pretty good to go on editing. So a lot of nights when I start late, it's because it's taking a long time to get the files to drive. But anyway, back to YouTube. Um, the, so we video when it's done rendering sends the file to YouTube and I think the way they have things set up since they're a service uh, that transfer is certainly quicker than I can download it to my machine from the cloud we video cloud and upload it to YouTube but then YouTube and like in March they made some changes about how they process copyrights and stuff and you know realistically if it's going to take an hour to two hours to run through some checks for copyright infringement and that kind of thing um you know that would be okay but sometimes lately literally it's taken 24 hours to run through the checks and when they can't run through the checks in a reasonable amount of time that's why the video looks horrible and that's why the video is only out there in 360 resolution and it's just basically I've spent all that time to film it in 4k transfer the files around in 4k render it in 4k so that it'll look really good you know 1080p is good but I, Don and I up on the big TV we like to see it in 4k ourselves and um you know YouTube is basically it'll let me put it out there where you can see it and then you're not worried that something's happened to me because I don't want to worry anybody but the experience is bad so I'm just I'm here at the doctors now but I was gonna say that if you go in to watch the video and the quality is bad I just I am so appreciative that you guys are still hanging with us and watching and care and all that good stuff but you can always come back later and um, yeah, you know, if it's still at 360p and you're watching it on a device other than your phone, maybe come back later and watch it. Um, I don't want to start publishing even farther away from the time that it's created than I already am. But YouTube's got to get their act together because 24 hour to process a video, that ain't right. My eyes are dilated and I have on dawn sunglasses. I generally never wear sunglasses. I just don't feel the need and... I don't know I just don't they you know they're not prescription for me to read so I can't read anything and wear them anyway um, Dr. May said my eyes are fine he was happy to check them and we did make a six-month appointment so that we can just follow up on the floaters but my pressure is good my retina is good um, the blood vessels in our artery or whatever you know is good um, it looks the same as it looked last August he did not take another big picture he said you know he doesn't see any reason they look the same to him um, maybe the next time and they gave me some different gel drops to try at night for the dry eye which is better um, but maybe could be even better since I just switched drops a few weeks ago and um, you know, distance see my distance vision has always been a little off but it's been a little off since I was 25 
and it's not off enough that I need glasses to drive. I can, I just read, I can read street signs. Maybe I have to get just a little closer than someone with 20-20 vision, but it's really a minor. So he still didn't feel I needed glasses for that, but he would be happy to, you know, help me get prescriptions just to try while so, driving. So yeah, he still sees the floaters, but they're not worse. And he's happy with my eye health. So if it makes me happy to come back and get him checked in six months, he's all about that and try some better gel drops at night, which I will. And um, he was reassuring and that's really what I needed. So Don's out here in the garage. He's putting together his Amazon Prime Day brand new office chair that came today. Yeah, looking cool. Yeah, it's the kind of office chair for guys got a big butt. <laughs> he don't have a big butt. And I know anyone watching the channel is going to agree agree with me that that's the case. He says he likes the mesh back, better yeah, airflow. Yeah, yeah, I, like I was like, are you nuts? No, I'm thinking know. soft and cushy and never want to leave the chair a day in my life. Yeah, no. That's okay. All right. Well, I'm going to be taking Johnny to Taekwondo here for a minute. Okay. And he's headed to his father's house for the week. So, um, yeah, yeah. Poor kid. yeah, I'm a little sad about that. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'll be here. I know you will. You gonna go kayak with me? Oh, possibly. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying no. Okay. 